Shopping for antiques is a popular pastime throughout Surrey County. Individual stores and antique malls dot the small towns and countryside from Elkin to Pilot Mountain and Mount Airy. With antiques and collectibles that have survived the generations and are yours for the taking. Hand me down, the walking king. Our first stop is in the quaint town of Elkin, North Carolina. On West Main Street there, you'll find a friendly shop that's hard to resist. Taken away. There we go. We have fun with it. I sing to a lot of my customers. <laughs> that's David George of Dave's Antiques. The things I like to buy mostly at auctions is these one-of-a-kind things you don't see that often. And sometimes, I'll be honest with you, I buy it and I have no idea what it is, but it's old. So I do a lot of furniture, a lot of accessories, a lot of unique pieces of uh, kitchen appliances. I just bought a 1904 bread maker. What I do generally best with is primitive type furniture or solid wood furniture. A lot of the primitive, like the pie safes, the hooser cabinets, I sell lots of those. That's the baker's cabinets that have the flour sifter in them. This is an East Lake piece, and the East Lake was made between 1890 and 1905 in that time era. And you can tell the date of it generally. Open the drawer here. You see the dovetailing on here. The circular dovetailing. That indicates that it, you know, the, the date of it, which is back around the turn of the century. And for his antiques, Dave says he has the best prices around. In all the years I've been here, I've only had one customer that said my prices were high. One time. Well, I go into other shops like in Winston or Greensboro or Charlotte. And my prices many times are a third or a half less than you'd find them in most other shops. And they don't play the organ for you. Are taken away. And that's it. Across the river from Elkin is Jonesville. And just a hop, skip, and a jump to its own antique mall. It's endless. Endless. There's all this stuff. Doris Kogi is one of many who sells her antiques there. Well, I primarily concentrate on vintage jewelry, some pottery, collectible pottery, older pictures, some glassware. And according to Doris, it's well worth a trip to Surrey County if you're looking for antiques. Very good. The prices are very reasonable in this part of the country compared to the metropolitan areas. If you get into even down into Winston, it's going to be higher price than what we have up here and up in Virginia. And being able to take home a priceless antique at a great price makes recycling history just a little more enjoyable. They have a, a, a beauty. They've been loved for a long time, and it's time for other people to have a turn in loving them. Due west on Highway 268 from Elkin and Jonesville is the town of Pilot Mountain and another antique mall that's basically four stores in one. I used to haul stuff from Pennsylvania years ago. And I haul a lot of stuff from, from north, you know. But now they're coming down here hauling it back. <laughs> the word about Mount Pilot Antiques is definitely getting around. We've got uh, 54 dealers here. And we have them as far away as Florida. Uh, that in fact somebody's bringing more stuff in today right now and they're from Florida they're downstairs bringing stuff in uh, we've got three storefronts three buildings and the building up one building's got two floors and for this antique mall more is definitely better by having so many different dealers and they come from different areas so uh, it, that makes you know a big variety of different stuff each one of them will specialize in something one dealer then the next dealer maybe something else you know it's a good antique place, good antique place. If you look for antiques, come to Pilot Mountain, you can find them. 17 miles up Highway 52 from Pilot Mountain is the countryside of Mount Airy, and a quaint antique store that's a treasure to find. We deal in 1900s furniture mostly and collectibles, folk art, uh, accessories and mostly handmade items, no commercial items to speak of. Mary Sparger of M. Sparger Antiques has seen a lot of trends in the antique business over the past 40 years. And antiquing does go in cycles. Uh, this slowdown is, is temporary, it's going to pick up again and actually right now is a good time for people to buy because dealers such as myself 
are willing to take a greater discount on our items uh, and just to move an item perhaps. So it's really the best time to buy is now. And finally, another Mount Airy shop that's well worth a stop is the Surrey Emporium on North Main Street. We've been here for 12 years. We do antiques, collectibles, and handcrafts. We have one of the largest selections of costume jewelry. Everything from the high-end names, and then we have the things that you can buy at the dime store. We have rhinestones, we have glass beads, we have plastic beads. They also have a huge selection of records and albums. I collect mostly 60s soul music, which is stuff that's odd, odd releases in the 60s. And comic books, new and vintage. We have Superman, Spider-Man, Batman. Um, we have some first editions. We have some artist signed uh, books, and we have them right up to what was released last week. Like the rest of Surrey County, the dealers in Mount Airy say there's no better place to find the antique you've been looking for. Everybody downtown is a family. We work together um, and you're all welcome.